and just summarize what we've done in the law of diminishing marginal utility we have done the proposition of the law the law states that the additional utility that you derive from an additional consumption will always go on decreasing we've also done the relation between the mu curve and the tu curve the relation is when the mu curve is falling the tu curve rises second when the mu curve touches the x axis the tu curve is it is at its highest point third when the mu curve goes below the x axis the tu curve starts to fall then we've done the properties of mu curve which states that the marginal utility always goes on falling the second property is based on the first property it says the marginal utility curve always has a downward slope and it always has a downward slope because the marginal utility always goes on diminishing and finally we've done assumptions and limitations uh, the assumptions being the cardinal measurement of utility the marginal utility of money remaining constant and the third hypothesis of the independent analysis of utility the limitations being first homogeneous goods second standard units of consumption third third continuous consumption fourth prestigious goods and fifth related goods